You may not think a company that supports oil and gas drilling would have an emphasis on reducing its carbon footprint, but that's the case at Mobile's Acker Solutions. Meteorologist Colleen Peterson spent the day there to see how the company is making an impact. Acker Solutions bills itself as a global leader in sustainable energy. For this country and the world to, to sustain itself, you're going to have to come up with renewable energy solutions and ways to decrease your carbon emissions. Some of those solutions are being developed right here on the Gulf Coast. I'm decarbonizing the oil and gas projects around the world, that's our specialty. The facility in Mobile builds something called umbilicals. Umbilical is like the word implies, a cord of life. Think of it like an extension cord that can power oil and gas platforms, like the ones you see out in the Gulf of Mexico. The closing process is the first step in assembling the umbilical. This is where they put all of the elements together that make up the umbilical cord. With this and other clean energy solutions, Acker has an ambitious goal. To decrease uh, our carbon uh, footprint by 50 percent by 2030. In under a year, they are already at 28 percent. One thing they've done to get there is something simple and easy that you can even do at home. We changed all the lighting in all these buildings, they were the old halide lighting, to LED lighting. Other changes Acker made at their 200-acre facility in Mobile, they use electric golf carts to get around instead of cars, they replace forklifts with electric dollies, and most materials used at the facility are recyclable, from used oil to batteries, even the parts that make up the umbilical. So we try to do our part uh, to be a green company. I'm standing on the operating deck overlooking Acker Solutions umbilical yard. Now, some of these cords can actually run over 40 miles at the bottom of our seafloor. This company is doing what they can to promote renewable energy and help save our environment. Reporting in Mobile, Colleen Peterson, WKRG News 5.